Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen and I am back again to go further with the tutorial that I started in my previous episode. I went through and showed the basics on how to get to the video editor. I showed you how to put the video on there and then I showed you how to cut and grab as well as showing you the, um, the snapping. I went through and I showed the resolution settings and I also showed you the output folder as well as the file format and the container then I went through the video codec and the output quality stuff like that as well as the audio and whether you'd want it in mono or stereo so today I'm going to go a little bit further and show you a little bit of the actual editing process um, there's a lot more stuff that you can do with this but this is just the basics so it's only my second video so I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit this video <coughs> now I've got the same file it's set up the way it was in the last video um, and the video that I'm going to be editing is a game called Saints Row the third now there was a lot of damage that was done to this video because of uh, gaming issues that I had this was on my son's uh, video or computer and he uh, overclocked it and it didn't do so well with video so I have to go through and I have to edit it clean it up and try to make it into a video now I can also show you some other things that I've, I do on here but let me uh, get started with the basics now in order for you to play the video it's pretty easy to do um, first make sure that your video is set at 0. Point or 0 0.01 or however you want to say that or 1 and how you do that is you hit the shift then you hit the left uh, directional button on your keyboard and it'll take it automatically to 1 now if you want it to go all the way to the other end you hit the right directional keyboard uh, button on the keyboard and it'll take you to the end of it this is set at 15 minutes which is 27,000 uh, frames and you can find out that down here on the right hand side down at the bottom it says that the that it's at 27,000 so you know that it's set correctly at 15 minutes next to that is your start which is one that would be right here hit control or shift in the right direction and it'll show you that you're on one down here in the current frame uh, area the start is one like I said and the end is 27 if you want to change that you click on it and you add whatever number you want so if you want it the video to be an hour you find out what the hour is which I showed in the last video and you add that number right here in this area by clicking on it now, now to hit to actually play the video you just it's very simple you click on the spacebar and you give it a little while you can see that the marker is moving in seconds so you do this now if you want to move it ahead of time you right click on that you right click on that and you can move it in any direction that you need it to go or you can go to this to the area that you want with your mouse and click in that area and the cursor or the I don't even know what to call that to be honest with you it, it'll go wherever you want it to go now like I said this is pretty torn up so a lot of this won't be used but I can cut this out and make it into 
a video that I want it to be. I can uh, actually go through and just hold on to my left uh, my le left click button and just kind of scroll through there and see what looks good and what doesn't. Now I get to this point and I want it to be very precise when it goes to this because this is where my cut's going to be. So I take my finger and I hold down on the right directional button and I go to a spot where I want it to be. Now when I uh, usually make cuts I want uh, areas like this that's solid white. So what I do is I come here to this white before it cuts in like this and I cut right there now before I do that the one thing I want to point out is up here in my preview area okay if you notice I got that white right there and I have uh, around the sides there and then I have the video now that could be because the video is bigger than the actual display size so what I need to do is this and this is important come down here to your videos that right there it was highlighted both of them were and the way I highlighted it again is I hit or, or I uh, held down on my left click button and then I went down and I uh, use that square to highlight both of those now what I want to do though is I want to make it to where this video matches up with the edges of this squared area so I just come down here which and I select just the video the video is the blue audio is the green I want to select, select the, the blue area then I want to come over here, make sure that this tab is on strip, not tools, modifiers, or proxies, just strip. Then I come down here to video. No, hold up, let me let me get that right. I come down here to transform. Okay, now right here in this area where it says scale, you have X, scale X and then scale Y. I want to make it to where these white lines match up right here where the black ends and the white begins. So how I do that is I can hit this arrow button right here. Oh, see, it's actually the video that's doing that. So I do the opposite. I want the black to be gone and the white to only be there. So I come over here to this area and I do that now when you see that rigid ed that edge that means that your video is completely showing and that the black sides are gone so I'm good there and that will cover the entire video now if I would have done that with the entire video I would have never had to contend with it but in my next edit I can just go ahead and do that first I always go in and I make sure that my scaling is taken care of if I do it on the X it scales left and right and if I scale on the Y it's up and down this is uh, an important tool to know be so that you can straighten out your videos and you can make it to where only the video is showing not the side borders because sometimes the resolution is done in like 1920 by 1080 and then other videos are made in uh, 720p you know what I mean um, so uh, 1280 by 720 and so you have to adjust that according to what you want it to be some people just leave it but if you wish to do this you can so um, that's what I had to do there and this like I said this white area is the area that I want the cut to be in and what I do usually is I just come here and like I said in before I make sure that my mouse is on the right side of 
this uh, cursor and I come in and I uh, hit K, the K button on the keyboard. Now everything that's to the right is highlighted, everything to the left is not highlighted, and I'm keeping everything to the left, but I am going to be editing everything that is on the right hand side. <coughs> It's always good to play it so that you know if maybe you're cutting into the audio because if you're like me you don't really want to mess the audio up to where it's skipping you want it to be a smooth transition as much as possible so that's what I do that for <coughs> and from the get-go the video footage is messed up so I take all of this and I just cut it out like look at his head it's completely black this part's blacked out this is the reason why I do not overclock because I'm into video editing and gamers that aren't into video editing don't care so they just do it because they think it's a good thing and when you go to edit videos that's what you get you get little black spots where the characters should be in the game but all of this is pretty much damaged video footage so I go all the way through here until I see I stop seeing a black head I will recover this part right here because out of all the, that video, the beginning and building your character seems to be the only good parts that I can use. I use my left directional to go backwards to find the beginning of this part right here. If I want to go forward, I use the right direction directional button on my keyboard now see that one is I, I believe that's actually supposed to be blacked out like that in the game so I'm not so what I do here is I come here this is where I want to make my cut. I make sure my mouse is on the left side of the cursor there and I hit K. Everything in the center is highlighted. The part that I that's on the right side of the cursor isn't highlighted so that is a good thing because what I want to do is I want to delete all of that. Instead of me going down and clicking with my mouse and hitting delete that way, I can come onto my keyboard and I can just hit X and it is gone. After that, I come over here with my mouse. I hold down on the left click, but uh, the, the left clicker button, and I freaking bring my mouse my mouse down over the two or the video that's on the right hand side of my cursor I highlight both of the audio and the video and then I press G after I press G I press X and that little red line down on the bottom appears and then when that appears I just take my mouse and I move it to the left most people don't do this but what I usually do is I put it over the top of the video that's next to it and because I have my snapping on it it will snap that video to the end of this so I turn around I come back over here and I, and I check the, the transition to see how it looks
see I don't want the loading right there so I will just go ahead and take that out and now right here I just take and put my finger on the left directional button and I press until I see that loading and once that loading is shown I start going to the right directional button until it is gone right there and then I take my mouse and I put my mouse again on the left side of the cursor and I hit K and I repeat the process I hit X to delete that little space I take and hold down on the left uh, but click button on my mouse I highlight both of these I hit G then X the little red or orange line appears and I just bring it over to the left until it's on on the other video and everything's red and I let it go and now we have a clean transition now this works if snapping which is right here is on it also works if it's off so you can use that trick to make sure that it's a smooth transition and there isn't any black space in between or any any uh, gaps <laughs>
goes back to there and just keeps doing this all the way back until everything is back on there now they have a limited amount that you can actually do so there's really there might be a limit on it now if you want to redo you hit control shift and then Z and it will put all your edits back into place now this is just a part of the bigger video so what I need to do is I need all of it to be at the very beginning which all I do is keep tapping the Z and see that's my limit so I've found out that I can't go back to the beginning so I select all by hitting A press X delete it hit shift direction button to the left goes to one come up here to add add movie select the movie put it in so now it's at the beginning like it was and for me to figure out if the audio needs to be synced what I do is I click on just the video which is the blue I come up here to add I, and then I scroll down to effect strip I come up here to speed control and I tap on it make sure that your cursor is at one and this will green uh, strip will appear above the blue one this is going to sync your audio and your video together if that's the problem so let's find out. Take care. Clicking is all there. It's still off. So I know that it's the actual video that's the problem. So I don't need that. So I click on the green, I hit X, and it's gone. Now, I could actually go and use Control Z to undo. And everything is back there. All I'd have to do is readjust my scaling like before. to where I see the indentures on the side. Now, you don't have to use that all the time. What that basically is, is if you are trying to uh, change frame rates from say 12 frames per second to 30 frames per second or 30 frames to 60 frames stuff like that um, what usually happens like say if I come here to 60 frames that here let me actually give it a little bit more space I'll undo that by hitting the control and Z take my left mouse create the box, highlight this, hit grab, then Y, and you'll see the yellow line coming up. It will make it to where I 
bring this strip up all the way straight and in sync. Hit G to make sure that the numbers match. <coughs> they match. So I come back here. I hold down on my left click uh, button. Create the box. Highlight this one. And I have that one done. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what happens if I switch my frame rate from 30 frames per second to 60. This is what will happen. And when this happens, the audio can't be stretched. It has to be the video. So in order to do that, you've got to make it to the end of here. Click right at the edge where you see that and where you see that little white there and you hit grab then X you'll see the red line going across and then you use your mouse and move it to the left now since clamping is on it'll show you when those two are even a line will appear so hit G X keep on going and you'll see that little white line it shows that they are synced up now I need to move this up again so I freaking grab both of them or I highlight both of them hit grab and Y go up one more time on here I go back down I just select the blue and I come up here to add I come down to effect strip and I hit speed control. So now you have it in 60 frames per second. like I am having audio issues so this will give you a chance to look at the audio part uh, you come down here to source on the right hand side you come in here to where it's this part right here that I have my mouse over it's a file path you don't hit this top folder on top you hit the bottom one it will open up to where the audio is supposed to be you select that on the video put it in there and then hit play okay so I messed up there somewhere you see if the audio is still on yeah audio is still working There we go. It's yeah, I probably should have hit both of them together. Come here, add an effect strip and speed control. And it said, no, it says it cannot apply to audio sequence strip, so it has to be the video. Like I said, uh, this game was pretty screwed up, and I was just going to use it as an example, but that is how you use um, your video sync, or your yeah, speed, speed control, and that controls the speed of your video and matches it up with the audio according to frame frames if you want to switch your frames over and I probably shouldn't have gotten that far ahead I should have just stuck with what I was showing you but it came naturally it's something that I needed to do and right here 
this is a good example of what I was talking about with the undo I'm using control and Z and just undoing all the stuff that I had done before and it's back to normal so if nothing else if whatever you take from what I'm doing here just remember control Z is undo remember grab remember X um, you know highlight everything X deletes it instead of having to do this and then hit this and then come down up here to delete all you gotta do is hit X and if you forget just right click on it and it'll tell you what key to hit right there um, it's a pretty good tool to use um, it also says split right here which is K um, going to keep the frame rate at 30 because that's the actual frame rate for the video so now I am believe I'm at a half an hour so I'm going to end it here and then I'll come back with another video to show you guys a little bit more I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something thank you